how to use TI Connect CE to place files onto TI84 CEs and TI84s. Also, how to place files onto TI SmartView emulator software. If you need to get to this TI Connect CE software, this is the link, or you can get this Connect CE link at this website. Pause as needed. First step is to make sure you download and install TI Connect CE and make sure it says CE even if you're not using a CE calculator. And if you go to the link, this is the TI Connect CE software where you can download it. You can download it for uh, Mac or PC. And once it's downloaded and installed, open TI Connect CE. And this is what it would look like when it's opened. We're going to go ahead and connect some calculators using the USB port. I just connected two of them so you could see that you could do more than one at a time. Once we have the handhelds connected, we need to download the zip folder with, that has the files. And this is the website that has those files. This is B letter O, letter O 2022 TI. Those are capital letters there, bitly is lowercase. And here's that website. Um, here's where you can get the link for the TI Connect CE software. And now we're going to go ahead and uh, download the TI84 CE ideas. I'll click on that. And notice the, here are the list of them all, but I do need to download this to my computer by clicking download. And uh, I don't want to open the file here. What I do want to do is go to the folder where they are right here. And you see, I just did it before to practice. And these are zipped and I want to unzip them by right clicking on it and extracting all. And I do want to extract it and put it right in the fo file folders. And I already had it, so I'll just replace the files. And so here is those files in my downloads folder and I have to remember where they are. Okay, right here, TI84CE. Uh, in fact, I can open them from right here. Let me just pause for a minute. And so this is what we did. We downloaded the zip folder. We unzipped it by using extract files. We needed to know where these files are on our computer. And now we're going to place the folders with the files next to TI Connect CE on my desktop. So here I have TI Connect CE with the two calculators connected. These are the files here. And the ones I want to put on here are not the PDFs. That wouldn't make sense. So I'm going to go ahead and click on these program files and also um, this image file, pumpkin best. Okay, that's an image file. So I've cl clicked on all of them. I want to left click and drag to where it says connected calculator. So it'll go to both at the same time. So click and then it says plus copy. So I'll hit go. And it says these are the files that are going. And since we're doing an image file, we do have to tell it where it's going to be. And I want to make sure that I have it in image six because that's where I'm going to be using it. We want the destination for all calculators. And if it does have existing comment content, it will replace those. So go ahead and send. And real quickly, you'll see like green barometers go by in the center of your screen. And there's those green barometers. And so that means that those have been connected. And so now they have those files. And so we dragged and dropped. And for the image file, we designated which image number. So that completes putting it on the handheld. As a bonus, we're going to show you how I can drag this onto the TI SmartView software. So get ahead and get TI SmartView up and running and have that same folder with the files ready to go. So here I have TI SmartView up and running. Okay, and I have the files over here. Uh, over here, you'll notice there are two icons. One's green, meaning it's on. I'm going to hover over this one. 
and this is the Emulator Explorer works best. I'm going to turn that one on. Okay. And so now this is, is this is where I can drag and drop those same files. So I'm going to go ahead and those are all clicked. Left click, drag and drop. And this says plus copy, let go. And again, it's saying it's going to do this, but I need to tell the image file to be in image six. That's where I wanted to put the pumpkin one. It's going to replace existing content. So I'll press send. And it's showing you right here that it's receiving those files. And that does a little bit of work there to get it finished up. And now I can go back to the uh, emulator workspace. So I'll click on the calculator part. And you can see that the program uh, ghost is in there, ghost sign function, they're all there. And as far as the image goes, second zoom format and image number six is that pumpkin that I wanted. I hope this helped.